This program is being brought to us by TFC, the Filipino channel. He's an amazing oh, producer. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much, everyone. And I'll talk to you guys uh, again soon. Thank you so much, Yang, for your questions. But don't worry, you guys. You guys did amazing jobs on the Filipino songs. I mean, even us Filipinos who are fluent in the language, we also get, you know, tongue-tied every now and then. So that's totally fine. You guys did amazing. But let's get to our next question coming from DJ Ryan Orlando from Pinoy Vibes Toronto. Hi, DJ hey, Ryan. Good evening. Hi. Good evening from Toronto. Good morning. Hi, Sam. Hi, Troy. Oh, hi, Toronto. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Nice weather yeah. here. A bit cold. How are you guys? Good, thank you. And be before I ask my question, I would like to uh, shout out to All for One. Hey, Rose, I'm so uh, starstruck right now because I really love your song. So, love you guys. Thank you. All right, so my first question is for Troy. Troy, I'm the one who's bugging you on Instagram. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, um, all right, this is my first question. Uh, pwede mo ba may share sa amin ano yung secret? What's the secret of Troy Loretta? Kung paano mo nagagawang maging uh, effective ang mga non-Filipino singers na mabigyan ng kakaibang approach na talaga namang sobrang sarap sa tenga, pakinggan yung mga songs na, na inarrange mo, lalo na sa part ng mga climax ng is ng mga songs mo. Talagang sobra pag nagdadrive ako, tumatas ang balahibo ko. Anong sikreto na isang Troy Loretta? You know, a big, I guess there's really no secret. I was influenced by a lot of great people. Um, I work with one of my greatest idols and the king, at least for me, of all um, love songs and ballads is my mentor, David Foster. And I worked with him so closely, especially in the past 10 years. So um, being influenced by that. And I, I, I sing a little bit. I'm, I don't consider myself a singer, but I like to think that I understand um, a singers and you know the way the, of the voice works and what works what kind of music what works around certain kinds of voices when the voice gets soft I play you know softer and make you know different kind of arrangement kind of things based on that and it's no secret it's just kind of studying people's voices and just being one with the music and um, over the years I've been really lucky to be able to work with such amazing singers like the ones here today so um, yeah th that's that's how I do it you're the best, Troy. Honestly, oh, thank, thank you, Paul. We love your music, actually. Hope to see you soon here in Toronto. And my second question is for uh, Jake Zyrus. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jake. Hello, po. Isa sa nagbigay ng inspirasyon sa mga Filipinos all over the world is ang awiting maghintay ka lamang. And we are so excited kasi kilala ka sa pag uh, sa paglabas ng emotion mo sa mga songs na kinakanta mo. Sino ang naging nasa isip mo habang inaawit itong song na ito? And if nakikinig siya ngayon, what is your message? Um, actually, alam naman po ng mga tao kung kanina ko dinededicate yung song, which is, um, it's for my mom. And, um, and obviously, if, she, you know, if she's listening right now, you know, I, she knows I love her very much and that song will always be for her. So, yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, DJ Ryan, Thanks, for your questions. But let's keep the ball rolling. We have questions coming from Abzi from Pinoy Vibes Toronto as well. Hi. Oh, no, Abzi, we, we cannot hear you right now. <coughs> oh, you have no audio right now, Abzi. Sorry. Oh, Abzi, no. No. <laughs> No, no. Okay, but don't worry, Absi. You can. We'll 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 call you back later on. Um, hopefully we get to um figure out me? the audio. There. Yes. Perfect. All right. Okay. There you go. <laughs> okay. So my first question is for Troy. Mm -hmm. uh, first, congratulations. You have an amazing um album, and um your voice is really uh, amazing. I can definitely agree to everyone who love your songs. Um, so my question for you is, um, are we expecting more collaborations in the future with other OPM artists, probably with Katrina Velarde, Sarah Geronimo, Jed Madela, Ogi Alcacid, or Bamboo? Um, of course, I, I would love to collaborate with more OPM artists. You know, I'm from here, so it's really kind of hard to go over there, you know, but as soon as the... Um, quarantine and the pandemic gets a little smoother and everything I would love to collaborate you know I used to actually collaborate 
with um, Filipino artists before the pandemic. I've done stuff with Lani Mr. Lucha, with Kyla, with obviously Jake. Um, and I just, I want to get back into it. I love producing. I love um, producing Filipino talent. Obviously, this is something to support and promote Filipino music and talent. So absolutely. And I would love to continue making volumes and volumes and volumes for the future. <laughs> so That's great yeah. to hear. You know, we really love OPM. And uh, thank you so much for answering that question. My next question would be for Jake. Um, Chessa and Jonna, uh, did you guys contributed with the arrangements of these songs or these timeless songs you sang as part of this powerhouse collaboration with Troy? Let's hear it first from Jake. <laughs> um, uh, actually, kasi po the way naman na magtrabaho po kami, you know, kahit na kanta namin or um, ibang kanta like kay Chessa or kay Jonna, lahat, lahat naman po ng um, parang yeah, lahat eh. Tribute. So, uh, yeah. lahat po kami um, nagbigay ng ideas na we basically, you know, like help each other para Okay. Para tapos na kasi, diba, alis na ako sa Monday. Ito na ko na lang ako sa'yo. Somebody's talking. Alright, how about Chesa? Ano ba? Kasi hindi naman live niya na sa Monday. Oh, yeah. Hello. There you go. Oh, there you go. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I <laughs> yeah, let's hear from Chessa yeah. this time. I think they want me to talk. Here you go. <laughs> um, I wouldn't necessarily say I would put a lot of help with the arrangement. I would do more vocal production with Troy, and I would help do background vocals. Mm -hmm. But he would always come to us, me and Jake, and ask us for our opinion. And of course, we would collaborate and be like, what if you do it like this? So it's definitely a collaborative effort. Thank you, thank you. And let's hear it from Jonna, please. Hi. Hi, Jonna. Hi, Miss Adzi. So, um, in my case, naman, um, I just told we a Troy na ang gusto ko lang na arrangement of course is yung napakaganda. So hindi ko na alam how would I explain to we a Troy ano ano exactly yung gagawin niya. But I trusted him so much, and I'm so happy sa naging result ng arrangement, which is, I super love. Parang um, parang nagresemble siya sa mga it's modern. It's a modern ballad. Pero nandun talaga yung punong-puno ng emotion, like yung mga kanta noong yeah. 90s. But we modernize. So I really love the, the whole arrangement, especially the 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 strings and the piano parts. Kasi I really love it. Gusto gusto ko talaga yung dynamics and all. So parang yun lang yung contribution ko kay Kuya Choy, na Kuya Choy, bahala ka na. And I, I just want a modern ballad. Yun lang. Yeah, <laughs> but your voice is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's something you. to look forward. And my last question, of course, for all for one, Lauren and Skylar. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. <coughs> I'm so kilig. I'm not sure if you know what that is, but I'm so kilig to have you here. So my question would be, um, the songs that you sang with Joy in this album are big time hits. Aside from your crystal voices, what makes your rendition with Joy extra special? Let's start with all for one. Sure, sure. Um, you know, the thing is, um, you know, Troy had told us from the beginning that these were really, really uh, timeless records. And, um, you know, when we heard them, that was our, our first time hearing them. And, um, you know, one of the things I know I like to really listen for first, the first thing that gets me with any song first is always the melody. Then I like to know what it's saying. And I know for me personally, when I heard the melody, and I told you this, Troy, there's parts of it that really remind me of like Sam Cooke and some other great soul singers. And the song was very soulful. And um, so I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm completely down with this. I don't know about <laughs> you guys. No, ex exactly. I, I said the same thing to Troy and I'm like, what am I singing about? Because I don't want to be canceled if it's nothing I don't want to sing about. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> just tell me what I'm saying first <laughs> and then once he told me what it was I was like okay so I can I, I can get into this and and wow. Philip, I've always said this amongst my friends and amongst a lot of people that um, when it comes to like uh, Filipino mm -hmm. music and Filipino singers they're like like black gospel singers they're like Filipinos the new black uh, so it was easy <laughs> it was easy to get it to tap into the soul and the vibe of the song because it, it felt natural and normal Great, great. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, I was the same way. I, I uh, didn't know what I was singing. I, I started singing like the first few phrases and then I said, Hey, Troy, what are we singing about? <laughs> and so he <laughs> told me, so it's definitely awesome. I enjoyed it very much. All right. Thank you so much. Can we hear um, some words from Lauren and Skylar? Sure. So <clears throat> just like the guys said, you know, it was important for me to know what I was singing about. And so I asked Troy to give me the translation and just hearing about how romantic and sweet the song Arau Gavi is uh, just made me feel like I could give it my own interpretation. But honestly, it's Troy's arrangement of the song. I think he just gave it a whole new life, you know, different key changes, just beautiful solos. And of course, his background vocals. He says he's <laughs> not a singer. He's a singer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Troy so, definitely a singer. He tries yeah. to act coy, but he can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Troy can blow. He over there yeah, playing, all dog. Troy can blow. Yeah. He'll be like, Ooh. I'm like, okay, Troy sings. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he gave me a lot of riff ideas. It really was such a collaborative process in the studio. And so, um, yeah, I think the combination of all those things gave the song a new life. So, yeah. Thanks, Lori and Skylar. Yes, no, they all said it beautifully. I mean, Troy is so special and I've had the pleasure of being able to work with him um, on a lot of different things, including my own projects and my own shows and everything for, since I was what, Troy, like 12? Since you were 12, baby. <laughs> so young and little. And I've always been in complete awe of just how kind and amazing of a person you are, Troy, but also just how talented and how naturally it comes to you. So when you asked me to be a part of it, I was obviously very, very excited. And um, I obviously have a lot of respect for Filipino music and Filipino singers. And I just feel honored that I hopefully didn't butcher it. No. <laughs> and no. That he helped me with like pronunciation, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, I just a huge honor to be, you know, even sitting here today and um, celebrating Troy's beautiful piece of work. So thank you so thank much. You. I think we can all agree that Troy is a genius. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. The definition. A hundred percent. That that is right. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, Asti, for all of your questions. And just a quick reminder before we get to our next um, questions. Also, remember to everyone who's tuning in, please do keep yourselves on mute so we can hear everyone speaking clearly so that, you know, we can learn more about the album, the music, and of course, the artists who are joining us here today. But let's get to our next question coming from Coco Martini from Pinoy Vibes Toronto 2. Hi. Hi. Hi, Coco. Hello. Hi, okay. um, my question is for Jonas. <laughs> but before that, I'd like to congratulate Troy, Loretta. Uh, uh, you know, um, fan mo talaga ako. At saka, volume one, amazing. Volume two, super amazing. <laughs> Sana na meron kang volume 1,000. Thank you, Pa. Okay, yeah. Congratulations. Now, my question is for Jonah. Um, hi, Jonah. Hi, Coco Martini. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Po. Hi. Um, my question about the song "Someone to Love Me." Can you tell us something about this song? Because for sure, marami na nagabang nito. Lalo na ikaw pa ang singer. So, ang dami na gabang oh, yan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so, um, Someone to Love Me. Um, this song is about uh, searching for your one true love. And it's like you're waiting for a long, long, long time already to find that one true love. And I think that song kind of resonates with, with my experience. Um, um, so, um, despite uh, having ex experienced all the heartaches, all the hardships, and all the waiting games, so finally, parang, eto ka na, ready ka na for this uh, very one true big love. So, yeah, Someone to Love Me is all about that. And I'm very happy because um, this is the, the sole uh, original composition in the album, and, and I'm super happy that Kuya Troy has given me the opportunity to record this in his um, volume two album. So, yun po, 
I'm I'm just happy and excited and proud na nakasama ako dito sa napakagandang project na to. So, thank you. Thank you also for your um very good feedback. And I'm excited for for everyone to hear this song na rin po. Thank you, Jonah. And my thank, uh, you. Second, thank you. My second question is for Skylar. Hi, Skylar. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, my question for you is: What can you say about Filipino songs like "Lagging Tapat" by Julina Magdangal, plus with new arrangement that? suits to your amazing voice. Aw, thank you. Well, no, Troy did an absolutely amazing job. And um, I unfortunately hadn't heard the song beforehand because it's such a beautiful song, so I wish I would have. But um, when Troy sent it to me and brought up the project that he was working on, um, obviously with how amazing he is and how beautiful the first project came out, I was very, very excited and honored to even, you know, lend background vocals or anything he would have needed to uh, be a part of this. So the song is beautiful. Um, it's such a sweet and beautiful song. And, um, you know, the original singer executes it beautifully. So, um, you know, I just try to do my own little thing and incorporate a little bit of like an R&B kind of simple flair to it. Um, but I'm just very, like I said, honored to even just be a part of it, period, anyway. Because <laughs> he did an amazing job bringing it to life and, you know, taking it from what it was and turning it into the Troy version, which, in my opinion, makes everything better, so. <laughs> Thank you. I love I love the way you uh, sing the, uh, you know, the chorus. Di magsasawa. Can you give me just... A little line. <laughs> you want me to sing it? Oh, okay. Troy's gonna like come at me and be like, "That is not how you pronounce it." <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like, "Sis, what did you just say?" <laughs> oh. I, I like oh the way uh, it. I the ending, the kind of. It's not gonna yeah. be great, but let's see. Um, the lagi tapa, lagi tito. Oh, right? Is yes, that kind uh, of? Troy's gonna text me after this and be like, "How dare you!" <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Skylar. Thank you, Troy. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy, you know, I was really thinking like at one point in this global media conference, someone's gonna say, you know,